You've collected the Xenoflora series. Botanists will fog their spectacles over these wonders. You've collected the Crystallized Emotion series. With a flashy name, you can sell anything. Are you done, game? I, I was not under in control of that. It it took control away from me. Wait, what is what is the sales pitch for this? Oh, please say yet. Yeah. Oh, the ship is noisy, but nothing compares to the boss's insane chatter. Blah, blah, blah. It never ends. He could learn a lot from this noiseless, disembodied head. Louis' quiet nature was hard to adjust to, but now I've grown to appreciate the peace and quiet. <laughs> so he's basically saying, my, the president is better off being decapitated than to continue existing. What else is there? I can't believe I had the fortune to find this thing buried underground. It looks like a component of a huge mechanical doll. It looks just like a part uh, from a robot in a cartoon I used to watch as a kid. How nostalgic. This futuristic machine makes me feel like I've traveled back in time. I forgot that some of these can be really interesting. Uh, what else is there? What is this? I've encountered countless treasures on this expedition, but I've never seen anything like this. All I can say about it is that it's both astounding and absurd. My son tells me that this type of figurine is all the rage with the kids. The strangest things amuse kids. When I was a kid, we were lucky if we were allowed to even talk about figurines. P.S. When I found this figurine, it had been placed so that it was protected by a wall of flame. My research isn't complete, but I think it may have been a shrine of some... kind. Uh, considering where we found that, that's kind of creepy. Pileated Snagret, Shiro, uh, Shiropades, Ambulatria, Stavian family. This variety of Snagret has the ability to both burrow underground and walk above it. Its earthy red coloration and distinct yellow ear and eye markings make it imme immediately recognizable. Despite featuring a chimera-like chimera merging of serpent and avian features, the Pileated Snagret has poor eyesight for a bird, perhaps due to extended periods spent underground. To compensate for this, its nose features a thermal-sensing organ common to many snakes, making it a dangerously effective hunter. Alright, that's that's it. I just I wanted to, to, to read that. It was interesting. Alright, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. And welcome back to Pikmin 2. Good morning. When we last left off, we cleared out the Awakening Wood completely. And the, the day before that, we cleared out the Valley of Repose. Now, next in the list, we go from winter to spring to summer with the perplexing pool. And the final cave we've yet to complete, the Glutton's Kitchen. By all rights, the Glutton's Kitchen should not be our final cave of the area. It holds no significance in in game. Oh wait, oh, I just realized. Oh my word. Well, I'll finish my thought first. It holds no significance in game and only seeks to to just be kind of an entertaining cavern or an amusing one. But it holds it holds a certain amount of Hmm, how should I put it? Sentimental value to me? Because it was the cave that I completed the debt in. Okay, I also realized... Um, by all rights, the cave that I compl that I uh, used to finish off this area probably... There it is. Probably should be the... Uh, the uh, submerged castle. But, again, that, do that doesn't hold any significance to me. This does. Okay, so... Now that it's day 30, the perplexing pool will bear its fangs at us in full force, with the first change now that is day 30 being that of the bull bear, an enemy that will wander the countryside with, uh, or recruiting dwarf bull bears in its wake. This enemy is devastating to Pikmin because, oh wait, okay, you guys can follow me. There we go. Because not only 
does it wander around, but it's also one of the most dangerous bull or enemies in the game. So even if the Pikmin manage to kill it on their own, it's probably just going to come back off screen and kill them and continue its rampage. So usually you have to take care of this guy first, and, or I guess her. And I, the best way I found to do this is as a child, I was terrorized by this enemy. It's really hard to actually kill because if you're taken off guard by it, it will it will mess you up. It's hard to attack from the front because it will just keep eating Pikmin. It doesn't stop to shake them off like other Bulborbs, and it has a posse that are fo that's following it at all times. And so, I devised this strategy. I think it's intended. This little landmark I haven't made any note of thus far, but I'm able to climb up it. And once I do, the bull bear will follow suit, both separating the children and preventing it from escaping. This is my bull bear trap. It can't get out now, it can't do anything. And so now, let me grab the rest of my posse. Now I can go deal with it pretty easily. I still have to attack it from the front, but it separates out the children and it allows me to get a favorable position on it rather than it taking me by surprise. Okay, let's kill these guys first. Just so they don't get in the way. And you guys as well. Kill the children! Children are dead. And now, all that's left to do... Now, alternatively, what can be done is a posse of blue Pikmin can be taken down here and get a really easy position at it from behind. Um, that's a, another thing that I feel is... You know what? Actually, we have time. Let's let's do that, too. Let's... I've never actually done that, but it makes sense now that I'm saying it. Let's put away a good number of yellows. And then... We'll take out some blues. And then we'll go uh, do this in an interesting fashion. And let's make it also fancy. <laughs> there's so much, there's so much uh, prep work to do. There's so much like, there's there's so much floor play to just killing this thing. It's like a, an ancient ritual or something. Okay, we'll separate that out. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't do that. Now, she can climb back out, but she has to go this way to do it. So as long as the person at the the gates there is the closest person to it. Uh, she will, she won't be able to escape. Okay, ready, set, go! Throw the Pikmin on her, switch over to Olimar, go from this side. And she's done. She's done. Let's take her back to base. And, uh, those are our spoils. Uh, please be able to take her out. This, that would be really awkward if I... Do I really? Will she... Oh, she's just gonna revive, isn't she? Here, do this. They're trying to take her up and over the top of this. Why? Just take her that way. There you go, you're done. <laughs> Problem solved. Why did you have to make it so difficult? Okay, these guys are also making it difficult. Just... It looks like there's just a bunch of pathing errors happening here. Come on. You can do it. You can do this. Really? Get. Come on. Apparently, this was supposed to be a really smooth thing, but it's not. It's not going as well as I want. Ah! Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna leave this unless they get it. So nope. Yeah, they're not gonna do it. Come on. <laughs> that was so awkward. All right, now, there's one more thing. Come on. Are they stuck? Are they... There's a solution to this. Get out. There. There, There's a... Okay, so there's one more thing that happens after day 30 in the Valley of Repose. Every couple of days, the bull bear will come. But also every couple of days, another enemy will, co will come. So, it's really surprising to see one of these enemies above ground. But... We do indeed see it above ground, and I'm, I, I'm guessing this is meant to be our first look at this enemy, possibly. Um, the first time we see this, or we saw it in the Let's Play, I believe, was in the um, 
in the the Dweevil's dugout or whatever it's called. But it also appears here. That's right. Whoa. There is a raging or not raging. Um, a, what are these called? Uh, they're not Daddy Long Legs. BD Long Legs. How can I forget the enemy? Uh, how can I forget this enemy of all of all enemies? It doesn't have a treasure in it. Uh, oh. Oh, I forgot we have a tradition. Run! I forgot we have a tradition here on Pal Plays. Now, this guy, we don't normally get to see this because normally these enemies are in a, a small enclosure, but they can move. They don't just stomp around. This guy will get gradually closer to the base. I believe this is as far as he can go. Uh, but I guess we could see because the, the cave that we have to go in is just right over there, so we can afford this this distraction. Come on, buddy. I think this might be as far as he's going to come just because he just spun around for no reason. Yeah, now he's just dancing in one place. So I guess we'll kill him. And he's done. <laughs> it's so lame. It's such a lame way to kill kill a BD Long Legs. And that's what he drops. No items at all. Actually, for some reason, I think... I believe this guy might drop the big key. Uh, what pigment do we need? We need yellows. I believe this guy drops the big key if... Does he? For some reason, I seem to recall him dropping the big key if you haven't already gotten it. But I, I'm probably wrong about that. I don't know why that that springs to mind. Alright, let's take back our spoils of war. Uh, we'll take out Molly briefly. Because she, uh... It's, it's part of my goodbye to this area. Doing all the things that make this area memorable in the first place. And I'll take her out with purples. Why not? Just for old time's sake. And... She's done? Maybe? There she goes. Poor girl. Man. It... We're, do we're just doing everything that that makes this area memorable for me. This is what the perplexing pool is supposed to be. Not what we've seen before with, you know, the kind of lame thing where there, there are no enemies anywhere. But this, where there's a bull bear, there's a beady long legs, this is what it's all about. This is the floor, this is the perplexing pool that I, I know and love. Alright, let's wait for these guys to come back, and we can head to our cave. Okay, that's... That's all we need. Let's head over to this, uh, this hollowed out stump and grab a... Oh, they're not there. Oh, the eggs aren't there. That's weird. Please don't lose any Pikmin. Thank you. I thought for sure that there were eggs here. Maybe they despawn after a certain amount of time. That's kind of sad. Okay, make sure I don't get ambushed here. Uh, what is the best way to do this? Here. Let's throw Pikmin there, just so I can get a better... Oh man, I have to throw all of them? Oh, I should have just gone the other way. Oh, that's... Well, I need to, I need to rush now. Throw them... I may not be able to take all of them into this cave. I, I forgot that there's no path. I should have just gone the other way. And throw them... Oh, I throw him too far. Okay, let's circle around to see if this is at least possible. Is this possible? Actually, yeah, it is. Okay, dismiss them, because there are some about to head into the water. And let's bring them around here. Whistle him too. And get them to work on this gate. You guys, get on that. Okay, you, sir, come over here. I'm not going to bring them around to where the, uh, the Wallywog is. I'm just going to try to bypass him entirely. Get up there. You guys. Cool. Is it, can I whistle them? This is a really roundabout way of, of doing this, but it's working. Kind of. And every single t every single day thus far, I've just wasted time and 
and gone to the cave at the end of the day. All right, Olimar, whistle them. Hurry up, hurry up. Make sure there are no stragglers. No, we're fine. Oh boy, this is... Oh, we're done. Let's go. Let's go, uh, take this out. Good. Well, that was nice of them. Man, I need, to, I need to flower so many of them. And there's our cave. That is the glutton's kitchen. Interesting. My odor detectors are reacting. A strong sense wafts from that hole, or wafts from the hole. I'm a, a machine, so rating sense is beyond me. But your faces tell me all I need to know. You are both drooling. I wish, just once, I could feel what it is like to drool. <laughs> this would be the a cave best entered with Louie. It only has one hazard. Electricity. And it's one of the most memorable cave th caves from my childhood. Oh, that hit me actually. And then we're going to jump off this. Oh, oh boy. Heart, you're fine. You're fine, buddy. These enemies are hoarders. They will grab anything that is dead from their their fellow kin to uh, like other dead bread bugs to dead carcasses to treasure. 